Welcome to another episode of Loops FX. Today I'm gonna unbox this Pioneer DDJ 1000. So stick around. Channel players and welcome back to another episode of Loops FX. My name is Bergwall or Bavar as it pronounced in Sweden and today we're gonna unbox this Pioneer DDJ 1000. The controller, they say, is the closest thing to a real set with the DDJ's 2000 Nexus 2 and the 900 mixer and whatever. So, it's gonna be fun. Uh, I have never unboxed a thing uh, on uh, YouTube before, so this is my first unbox as well. So, I hope this will go as smoothly as I um, plan. But before we begin, I will remind you to hit that subscribe button and if you want to be reminded every time I post a new uh, video, please hit the bell as well. And uh, if you like this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. So, let's get started. Unboxing this beast, they say. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. I feel like a child in, on uh, Christmas Day. As you see, everything is there. Uh, the manual and cables, we put that there. And the little copper thing. Carefully wrapped, I can see. Ah, it's a beauty. It's a real beauty. Oh, it's heavier than I thought as well. Oh, it feels real grand. The first feel of it, just touching it, it feels solid. It feels like the real thing. It feels really like the real thing. And the jog wheels feels almost the same as the jog wheels on CDJ 2000. The buttons, a little, a little plastic. If you're um, thinking about the uh, 900 mixer. They, they are a little plastic here, but uh, I still got a good feeling about it. So, that's the bottom and that's the coarse fader. Oh, it's a smooth coarse fader. Oh, it's got the magnet fader, the magnet fader, so this is a, it's good. Uh, and what do we have here? We have a power, power button, a mic, uh, USB, we got two USB ports, so we can hook up two computers, so we can do back-to-back -back or uh, if you want to switch DJs during a set. Uh, line phone, no line phone, so we can uh, put uh, some uh, vinyl record players here as well. And uh, if you want to play some music from an iPad or anything like that. Uh, the ground, booth, out. Master Out uh, RCA and Master Out XLR. And this is a lock or something. I don't know what that is. Please tell me what that is. It's a lock. It's a symbol of a lock. Look, look, it's a lock. What is that? I don't know. So, uh, Deck A 
have um, the loop in, loop out, and loop adjust, 4-bit loop, slip reverse, and change from deck 1 to deck 3. Uh, so this is basically a four-deck player, even if you only got two decks. Uh, shift for the uh, commands beneath the buttons. Memory, Q loop, Q play, 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 play. play. Yeah, it's a good play button. And uh, there. Tempo, sync, reset, the fader. Is it? It feels good. The, f the tempo fader feels really good. It's not uh, worn out <laughs> yet, but it feels that it's a uh, some kind of um, uh, pressure against that makes small adjustments. It's, uh, yeah. <clears throat> And the phone, sampler, volume, sample volume, very good, very good. Uh, sound color filter, echo, noise, pitch, microphone, microphone, microphone check, one, two, this headphone level, the beat effects, it's, it's all the normal beat effects that you find on a 900 Nexus 2 mixer, I heard. Um, so um, one thing that I miss on um, the beat effects channel chooser is uh, crossfader uh, A and B that's on the 900 Nexus 2 crossfader A and B I use them a lot I don't switch between decks and switch between the crossfaders uh, and the level and depth, and this is the exa exact uh, copy of the other one. It's not the um, mirror copy that some uh, uh, controllers do, they mirror copy. So um, this section will go up here. That's good that it's not. Uh, we forgot this one. Ah, it's a, it's a browser, load, back view, and this is the jog adjust. I normally always put it on heavy, but I have to feel how it works for me on this one. I like I like the feeling of the jog wheel really. And here is here is the displays. I'm kind of curious of that. Um, so and the phone, the big and a small jack and nothing on the sides except for handles. So, uh, the big question, and I, I can see that it's not working. I got this laptop stand, it's custom made by a crane stand. They made this special for me because I like this color, yellow. Uh, and my question is, if you make a controller specially made for laptops, why don't you have space for the laptop stand underneath? Here, I have to lift it up. And it's get kind of sturdy, it's not good. I would like to have, I would like to have a, a feet on it, so uh, at least so, uh, a centimeter, so that um, I could put my laptop stand and uh, under it, but no, I don't think that's kind of funny that I don't think about that. So, uh, shall we connect it? Yes, we shall. First we um, read something. Here's the adapter, the power cord.
<clears throat> so and this must be the USB cable, yes. Okay, and the manual, we read that later. Perhaps we um, come across some driver's issue, but we solve that when we come to it. So, um, where's my computer? Just wait. Uh, I also got a custom made uh, cover for my computer. Uh, yeah, I think it's quite nice. I made it myself. So I'm kind of proud. Let's get started. So we connect it. Press Q. It works. There's good feeling in the buttons. It's funny looking at the, the display on the players. The hot cue, pad effects. This is my um, pre-programmed uh, pad effects on uh, record box. Speed jump. Be jump. That's a slicer. The slicer on beat jump. Okay, the sampler. Yeah, works. But I cannot understand why I got beat jump. The got slicer on the beat jump. Shift, keyboard. If you want to play a loop, play a sample, and then press shift and pad effects 2. It's from the other day. No, it's from the other selection. And uh, beat loop, it's beat loop. And then we got key shift. And we can switch, switch um, pages on the record box as well, that's really good. Um, I really like the tempo fade, I really like the pitch. It's too loose. I might Still like it heavy. On the screen, there is an um, indicator where the sound begins. It's, it's like uh, if you have a. Uh, in the old days, you had a label on the vinyl record. On the vinyl record, you could set a, a little a dot or something just to, to know where the sound begins. There's a there's a line there. It's quite good.
without uh, investigating this controller any further this is my fourth controller um, so I can say my first impression is uh, that I'm kind of surprised that it's uh, this heavy built uh, that is this heavy built and uh, it really looks and feels uh, darn good <laughs> as yeah I can't wait to get my uh, mixing on with this one I really like it uh, and it's it's bigger than I thought uh, uh, I thought it would be smaller but it's bigger so far satisfied uh, only one uh, thing on the con side is I can't fit my laptop stand underneath the player um, but it's gonna be fun uh, I wanna I promise I'm gonna show you some more videos about this one uh, especially how to update, how to update the hardware and more trips and ticks and trips ticks and trips ticks and trick tips and tricks <laughs> as well uh, so um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up uh, and subscribe to this channel and uh, hit that bell every time you want to be reminded uh, when I post a new video um, and if you have any request for uh, a tutorial or tips and tricks uh, please send an email to hello at loopsfx.com hello at loopsfx.com See you next time. Bye-bye.